You get to know how the boys are doing by how they walk into breakfast in the morning. Good morning, Cleo. I would say I feel my role as matron is just to be that person they can come to with any of their worries. I'm just going to be there around for them the whole time. Alistair, your tie, my love. And your shoelaces. Yeah, that's good. See, pull us up, can't I? Is it? Yeah. It's all ski whip, Dom, sort him out. Mm. Gotta get the stragglers now. Lunchtime is arguably the most important meal because we protect that time. So during lunch, the boys serve each other, clear the tables. There's no phones or other technology in the room, and it lasts a good half an hour, 45 minutes of just spending time together, stopping, sitting, relaxing, just being. Happy birthday, Matthew. And that's a hugely important part of the day, and it's a hugely important part in building bonds. All the meal times are an opportunity for myself and the housemaster to see how the boys are, if they're having a good day, bad day, just by their body language. You can hear what's going on in their lives directly or indirectly, so you pick up on what's going on around the house. My room is a bit like the, the kitchen at home, which is always the heart of the house. All right, Nika. It's where the boys will come in, chill, say hello to the dogs sit down and just relax, all the sorts of things your own children would do after school. Oh, mince pies, mince pies. <gasps> mince pies? Sam, yeah? you can't go out like that. Okay. No, it's cold. Mm. Spoon, Sam. Me? Yeah. What, he'd be all right. Alex? Yeah? Do you need anything clean for Saturday? Bad. Sure? Thank you, good. All the information about a boy comes through the housemaster. We purposefully try and put lots of people in the house so that the boys feel that they have a number of people they can turn to, can talk to, can share with. The meal time is one of the key areas where the housemaster and matron will be swapping information. The housemaster obviously has the fullest picture, especially from the school facing side of the house. And the matron will have information about what's going on in the house, hearing either directly or indirectly from boys, from speaking to parents, to other staff as well. That sharing of information, that concern for what's going on in the boys' lives is the key aspect of the role. It should be a place where they're comfortable, they're happy, especially in today's day and age of social media and the potential to isolate themselves. Having an environment that is populated by friends, by older boys, by role models, and an environment in which you want to spend time with each other is hugely important. Bed! Sam, are you ready for bed? Yeah. Done your teeth? Yes, um, no, not yet. Yeah? Um, didn't I mention this bag this morning? Oh, I thought you meant that. Oh, what? You mean, you mean the other bag that was on the floor? No, the... Or, or you mean all the other clothes on the, the floor? Yeah, all the other clothes. All oh, right, okay. Is it warm enough in here at the moment? The window's open. Do we want the window open? Is it? Or is it too warm? Cool. Well done, lads. Night-night. Sleep well.